So you have an Android device, but it's not a Samsung. And you're wondering, Robert, how am I going to use the tracking network if I don't have a Samsung? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you an alternative to what the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag 2 offers. Now, is it going to live up to the same level as the Smart Tag? I don't know. Stick around and let's find out. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in the last video, we went over the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 and all of its features and functionality and how it works. And I really think it's going to be a great device. But today we are going to show you a product that competes with the Samsung. They don't run on the same network. They do the same type of functionality, but this is a Google Find My Device network device only. Now we all know Google's network is not the best as of yet, but they are improving it. Let's get into it and let me show you this new Pebble Bee clip. So you have an Android smartphone, but it's not a Samsung Galaxy device and you still want to be able to track your luggage, your backpack, your briefcase, your purse, whatever the case may be. Well, I have a solution for that too. And that is the new Pebble Bee clip. This is actually the official Find My Device tracker from Google. They have used the Pebbleby product instead of creating their own, which I think is actually pretty smart. There are others that are compatible, but this one you can buy directly off of the Google store. And as a matter of fact, you can't even get this on Amazon anymore. You can only get it from the Google store. And this is the newest version that I picked up to compare with the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag 2. That's a really long name. And to kind of see how they work. So we're going to pair this up real quick. And then I have some trips coming up in um, August, September, and November. And I'm going to be using both of these trackers on these trips. And I'm going to compare how well the Galaxy versus the Pebble Bee tracker works. And we're going to see exactly how good this is. Now, as of right now, I'm pretty sure the Samsung's still going to win out, but you know, Google's constantly putting updates to their Find My Device network, but we'll see how well it performs. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed, get it opened up, and we'll get it paired with the app and get it ready. So let's see what we got inside the box here. I actually think it was really smart of Google to use an existing product instead of coming out with their own because we all know how well they do with their own products. It seems like it, you know, it comes out and then, you know, six months or a year later, they cancel it. So inside the box here, you have a little quick start guide that's got a little QR code that if you want to pull the uh, manual, this is what you get inside the box, which is the tag. It gives you a cable for charging, and then it gives you a ring right here that you can attach it to you know, your keys or whatever you want to attach it to. Now, this is not as big as what you have on the Samsung. And one thing about this particular like ring is see how it like opens. It's not going to keep it very secure. Like if you have it on your luggage, on the exterior luggage, someone can easily just pop this off and take it off. So if you're going to use this on luggage, I would highly recommend you look into uh, possibly getting some type of, you know, holder to put the Pebble Bee clip into and that could be more secure because that right there is not too secure. But it does make it really easy to attach and remove from something you have it clipped onto. So that's a positive. So let's get the tracker out here and let's go ahead and take the cable out and that's all that's in there. So you can see it's got a little QR code to scan on there. And I already have the app installed. So let's scan the QR code and see what it tells me. Okay, so it takes me to a warranty registration page. So let's go ahead and do that. and. It's asked me where I bought it. So I'm going to say Google store and now it's saying, let's set up your device. So I'm going to click start and you can see here, it says select your platform, but it only gives you the Google find my device platform because that's all they support right now. Again, Google decided to utilize their equipment with Google's network, which I think is smart. So 
let's just go ahead and click continue. Update the app, yes, app, log in my Google account, double press the button on the Pebble B, hit connect on the bottom of the sheet, follow the in-app instructions. Okay, so we're gonna say, go to Google, find my device. And let me log in here. I'm gonna double press the button. So now that pops up asking me to connect. So I'm going to click connect, agree and continue, adding to find my device. So it's now adding this to the Google Find My Device. And now you can see it says that the Pebble B clip is now, if I can get that to focus. So open app. And now it takes me there where it shows the Pebble B and it shows the location of where it's at. And uh, let's see, allow access to numerate devices. Numerate devices permission is required. Yes, allow. And there you have it. And so I can actually go in and update the name, which I'm going to change the name on the device. So it's asking me to categorize this. It gives me a list of the different devices, you know, phone, tablet, wallet, keys. I uh, don't see the luggage. Oh, bag. So, okay, I'm going to choose bag. Okay, so that's set up. And yeah, see, this just doesn't have a lot of features on it. So like, you know, there were so many other things you could do with the Samsung device and I just don't see it in here at all. So if I go into settings, the only thing the settings allows me to do is rename it and change the category, or I can add someone who I'm going to allow access to follow this tracker. So for example, my wife, I could add her to the account and she can track this as well. And I can play a sound that's pretty loud. Um, and that's it. <laughs> there's, there's no other, um, yeah, there's no other options for me to do any kind of customization. So that's a win for Samsung. In my opinion, they give you all kinds of extra capabilities and options with the, um, smart tag. Now, as you see, I've got it listed along with my phone and my watch. And of course my galaxy watch five pro is still in there, but, uh, that's doesn't exist. So I'm actually going to remove that right now, as a matter of fact, and it does not let me remove it out of here. Okay. I probably have to go to the internet to do that. Probably. Yeah. It's not letting me remove it. See, and again, that's another fail to me. I, I Google should give the opportunity to manage these devices right within your phone, but it doesn't let me do that. So I'll get to the website and we'll see if that gives me the options I need to be able to manage the device. Uh, we are just going to put this with the other components. Uh, it says the battery is fully charged. So I'm just going to pop this on here like so. And there you have it. There's the front. So we will see how well this performs in conjunction with the Samsung device. I have a feeling the Samsung device is going to blow this away, but this also is $29.99, which is the same cost as a Samsung. Of course, the Samsung is actually on sale right now on Amazon for $21.99. You can't get this on Amazon, so I can't put a link to the Amazon site. I will put a link to the Google Store site. That will not be an affiliate link if you want to go check it out yourself. There is the charging port on the bottom. And that's basically it. This was like super simple compared to the Samsung which may seem like a positive thing, but to me, it's not. It's a negative thing because the added functionality of the Samsung is awesome. It gives you way more capabilities than what this does. Now, the battery life on this, they say, is 12 months. So again, it's not a replaceable battery, but at least it is chargeable. So you don't have to throw it away when the battery dies. You can just charge it up. So that's a plus, but I like being able to have a replaceable battery as opposed to a rechargeable battery only because if for some reason you're out and about somewhere and you don't have the means of plugging it up, you could simply just replace the battery and carry a few batteries around with you in your backpack and you'd be good to go. So that's the Pebble B. We'll see how it compares with the Samsung. And you'll definitely want to go check out this video right here, which goes over that Galaxy Smart Tag 2 device because it's also a pretty awesome. And I can't wait to test it in a couple of weeks when we go on our first trip. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.